Hi, I'm Brian English, Wapla Forum name Hyperbytes, and in this module we're going to have to look at the uh, login procedure. I'll be doing this uh, module in two parts. First will be the very basic login procedure that you would need had you not implemented the uh, verification code modules that I uh, previously showed. And then in the second part, we will look at how to integrate that verification procedure into the login itself. So we'll start with a very simple login form. So I'm going to, first of all, create a page. We're going to call that login. It's a content page. Layout is main. And I'm going to use a block that is already there. Login form. And we see that we have an email option and we have a password option. And the names are correct, so we're happy with that. That's not a problem at all. We've got a button there that uh, probably could do with a little bit of styling. Let's just make it green. Uh, let's make it a submit button that often is uh, omitted in the blocks. And let's just change the name of that to login. Let's save the page. And that very complicated process is our, the basics of our login page. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pop into workflows. We're still within this re registration folder. We're going to call it action login. We're going to go up into inputs. And as we've done before, we'll select our linked page, which is login. We will pull those variables across from the form so we can import the form now notice i didn't put any validation in um, so it hasn't pulled the validation over um, if you want to validate i would suggest that we do the the obvious ones of required and it must be a valid email and our password is required And I'm not going to check its length because if people put the wrong length password in, that's all part of the security process. Um, so we're not going to mess about with that. Um, just check that password field is actually set to password. Yes, it's a type password. So we'll see the asterisks rather than the digits. So if we go back into our login procedure, this is a bit complicated. So uh, you don't have to watch because we actually have to do one thing. It's a little bit of sarcasm there, folks. I hope you don't mind. Um, login. We're going to log in using the post email as the email. And we're going to use the post password as that. Remember here is um, our whether we drop a cookie onto the system or not log in. Um, we haven't included that in our form. So now let's just go back. Let's just go into uh, that row, add another row below, and then we can add a column, and then we can add a checkbox control. We'll call that remember, so click on the actual control itself. Don't forget, you can set your own unique ID up here, but I suggest you do that. We have to give that a default value so that if it's checked it will send the value one and we're just going to change that to remember me save that now go back into our login action i'm not going to pull that stuff over again we'll create that one remember which obviously matches what we have is the name of this field here security login now we use the email the password whether that remember is there or not we'll save that that is our login process everything else is handled by the WAPLESS security provider the last thing we can do is we can add our notifications and I'm going to actually use, just to show you that you can do it, if we go into blocks, modals, I'm just going to do a 
warning modal as well just drag that in the right place and the reason I'm going to do that is I'm just going to have a, a nice bright message for the unauthorized just for impact and nothing more so we've got our notifications we've got our modal that we're going to use as a unauthorized message as opposed to the usual notification let's pop into not quite sure whether that why that containers there let's not worry about it. let's get rid pick our form so it is a server connect form we're going to connect collect to our login action and then once we've done that we've got to create those dynamic events so in the event of an unauthorized return instead of using a notification I'm going to open that mobile out so it's a modal warning show if it is a error we'll just use the notifications uh, put a danger notification in so I'm going to delete that because I've actually got the wrong action there um, error we're going to use our notifications danger and just say error again you can obviously put whatever message you want in there and then the last one in the event of a dynamic success if we go into our success event we're now going to need our browser component because we're going to take the user to the home page so down in our success event we'll go browser go to routing section home page internal title okay so we'll save that and fingers crossed um, you know we could do a little bit of tidying up on the edges here etc but uh, let's just give it a try so there's our login um, admin at hyperbytes.co.uk if I remember rightly One, two, three four five six seven eight we'll check remember me and there we are we've gone to the home page no problem at all if we go back and let's just try that again I'm going to put the correct email in but let's put the wrong password in and there we are that nice big unauthorized modal pops up um, and the same if we put the email wrong but the correct password click that unauthorized so that shows how simple it is to create the, our initial login process just before I end this session I'm just going to uh, just tidy that form up a touch um, appear it's all set in a row so let's just add a little bit of a border in there that login button um, we need a bit of padding at the bottom of there just to take that right off the line I think I put that in the wrong place have we um, no we've got our spacing there um, let's give the container a little bit of top margin just to take it right off the top and again why don't we give that column there um, that darker background just so we can see the uh, form stand out a little bit we can again we can put a border on there if you want um, I've shown you how to do that I'm not going to show you again um, which means now when we file that page we just have a little bit more definition to the, the login form so that is the uh, basic login and then our next section will be looking at how to integrate that code verification system that we uh, introduced in the previous module